So welcome. مرحبا. عندك اختراع وابتكار او فكره لاختراع او ابتكار وتعتقد انه هي الفكره رح تساعد الناس بمناطق الحروب او الكوارث الطبيعيه معناتها هذا الفيديو لك تابع لاخر فيديو بتشوف كيف فيك تحصل على دعم مادي ولوجستي لتخلي هالفكره وهالحلم حقيقه It's a real pleasure for me. My name is Marian Kovac to introduce you uh, to this exciting evening of pictures of all those innovators that will tackle problems in the humanitarian world. Um, humanitarian Grand Challenge uh, uh, creating hope and conflict and the conflict of peace in the middle of the war is a project that is from the government and supported by the government. كندية مقرها تورونتو وعندها عدة مشاريع ولكن هذا البرنامج بالذات هو يعني يشتغل على البلدان اللي فيها نزاع حول العالم مش الشرق الأوسط فقط بل يعني جميع أنحاء العالم تقوم هذه المنظمة بإطلاق request for proposals عرض تقديم العروض كل مايو شهر خمسة كل سنة وذلك الاستقبال أفكار جسورة أفكار جريئة من 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 مبتكرين حول العالم في المجالات التالية اللي هي الطاقة المستلزمات والمعدات الصحية معلومات اللي تفيد الإنقاذ في life saving information إنقاذ الأشخاص العالقين في النزاع والمياه الآمنة والصرف الصحي من المنبر هذا أنا يعني أشجع جميع الناس اللي عندهم أفكار لتقديم أفكارهم والاتصال بالمنظمة. My name is Chris Houston. I'm the director of humanitarian innovation for a program called the Humanitarian Grand Challenge. We will fund and support any innovator who is trying to help people affected by conflict, and therefore, of course, Syria and Yemen are at the top of our list in terms of. conflict right now, but we are also looking, Libya, Somalia is also in scope. The people we want to help are the people that are currently not being reached by the humanitarian system. So there's many people in Syria, in Yemen, also in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where because of violence, uh, because of insecurity, the traditional humanitarian system is not able to get them the, the things they need. You know, the humanitarian principle is that we are neutral, that, that, we, that we do not cooperate with anybody who's part of the conflict and for that reason actually in, in the context that we've spoken about we, we, we would uh, not uh, be working with the government. Okay, then today we're going to have some uh, innovators and we're going to celebrate and let them pitch what they uh, invented. Exactly. Um, would you please tell me about these people, uh, how did they reach you, how did the, you know about their existence? Exactly. Um, What, what we what we do is we spend a lot of time concentrating on the problem, and the problem I described to you is the the, the failure of the humanitarian system. And then we invite everybody and anybody in the world to to submit their ideas. Today is an opportunity to tell your viewers that there's an opportunity to to apply for funding. We also do things like so you fund them also not only they can give you ideas and you can fund them to implement these ideas to make it real. Absolutely, absolutely. We uh, you, you're tonight at this event. You will see 23 different. Organizations. Three of them we've given one million dollars. Mm -hmm. The other ones we give a quarter of a million Canadian dollars. And 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 this is the the financial aspect of of, of what we do. Um, what is important to them is firstly it has to be something that is not being done or is not being done in that area um, to try new ideas. It it must have the potential to have a big impact, but it's also okay that the idea might not work. People have ideas that may or may not work. Yeah. And you have to try them. Many of the people that you'll see tonight are also Syrians. Uh, you'll see a Yemeni tonight. The, 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 the best ideas are often coming from the community. Uh, بمخبر عم نعتبره عم نسميه نحن عن بعد فكرتنا بسيطه انه اذا في اذا في اشخاص ضلوا بالمنطقه بروفيشنالز يعني مثلا اطباء او او فنيين هذا بيكون شيء ممتاز رح نتعاون معهم لنوصل لتشخيص دقيق اذا ما في اشخاص فنحن بدنا نتعاون مع مساعدين 
رح نعمل لهم تدريب رح نزودهم بالمعدات التقليدية للمخبر بس الشيء الإضافي أنه رح نزودهم بكاميرات تتركب على هالأجهزة يعني في يأخذ صورة للطبق في يأخذ صورة للأنابيب وبده يشاركها معنا بيجي بعدين في مجموعة من الأطباء الاستشاريين اللي يفضل أنهم يحكوا عربي حتى يقدروا يكون في سهولة تواصل رح يساعدونا بقراءة النتائج إذا لقى في حاجة لتواصل أكثر بيطلب مثل فيديو كول مثل ما قلت هذا هو الجزء الأساسي بس في مجال أنك تطوره أنا مهندس علي محمد اختصاص هندسة البيئة حاليا منسق لمشروع الهيرس انتجريتد ريزيلينس سيستم والمشروع بشكل عام يهدف الى تعزيز المنشات الطبيه من خلال ادخال التقنات الحديثه اللي هي تزويد المنشات الطبيه بالطاقه الشمسيه وبالاضافه لموضوع النقل لسيارات الاسعاف واللقاح اللي راح تكون ان شاء الله خلال نصف العشرين عشرين يكون تم تسليمه لسوريا طبعا شمال غرب سوريا راح تكون سيارتين اسعاف واحدة عفوا سيارتين على الكهرباء واحدة للاسعاف والثانية للقاح بالاضافة لموضوع التلمدسن الطبابة عن بعد فكرنا ان احنا نصمم جهاز اللي يعمل حاجتين اولا يعمل لنا تنظيف للماء من كل الميكروبات بيكون مش محتاج كهر مش محتاج لا بترول ولا ديزل ولكن من سولر سو من من طاقه شمسيه الحاجه الثانيه انه كمان غير انه بينظف لنا الماء بيعطينا كهرباء والهدف كان ان احنا نبدا نحط هذا السيستم اللي احنا اشتغلنا عليه في ثلاثه مستشفيات في الحديده So my name is Rashid. I um, I work in the humanitarian team in in Action Aid. Mm -hmm. I'm working very closely with our Jordan country team to develop an innovative uh, solution uh, to uh, the uh, to, to support basically Syrian refugee women mm -hmm. in in Amman. Would you please tell me an example about one of these projects? Yeah, yeah. So I'm currently uh, working on uh, a project with the with the Jordan team. Mobile solution, which is designed by women, uh, Syrian refugees, and Jordanian women, in partnership with the Jordan uh, Women's Union and uh, Orange, the mobile network operator, we're developing uh, a mobile solution which is designed by women, uh, Syrian refugees, and Jordanian women. So the purpose of this project is we've identified that there are gaps um, in information, in awareness of like rights and access to certain services that women are facing on a daily basis. So we thought, well actually, you know, 65% of women said they use a phone and they like to get information using their mobile phone in a secure and safe way. So, um, but specifically it's around um, violence against women. They, they've started to design the app, they've started to, um, to, to test it. And it's going really well. I mean, uh, ActionAid at its core always puts women at the center of uh, their work. They lead the work, they design it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much for this information. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Stage. Hello, Kunwana.